So you're a blogger and you're looking for ways to make your reports fantastic. Like you attend an event, you want to write something on your blog, you want to write something that people will say, wow, this guy can write, this lady can write, something like that. That is what you've been looking for. Such normal because today I'm going to teach you a very cool and easy way to write your report and make sure it reflects just every single thing about the event. Hi, my name is Chine Duhadi Mwadike. I've been a vlogger for a very long time, so I write too. So today, I don't want to waste your time. I want to go straight to this really cool way you can write a fantastic report for your blog. So one of the things you do when you want to write a blog is you just draw a line and you say subject and you have your five W's and H like they do in journalism. You have your who, what, where, when, why, how. Let's say an armed robber was caught in Owere by the police. So we look at the subjects. We have armed robber, police, who caught him. We look at this to get our subject. So who was caught? Arm robber by who? Police. What was the arm robber doing? He was stealing. Where? Owere. When? Let's say 20th August 2021 by 5 p.m. Who was he stealing from? You can also add, uh, maybe under here you add trader. What else happened? Uh, the arm robber shot someone. Who did the arm robber shoot? A hawker. There could be more to this. So when you look at every single person here, the arm robber, when the arm robber was caught, what did the arm robber say? You state it down, you notice, you keep making your points on your jota to say, this is what this person said. The police that caught the arm robber, what did the police say? Okay, if the arm robber hasn't said anything, probably nobody has interviewed the arm robber. Okay, you can let that lie. But the police probably said something. The traders who were robbed, what did they say? And uh, someone was shot. Did the person die? Who is the person? A hawker? Did you get the name? What were you able to figure out at the end of the day? So it happened in a way on August by 5 p.m. and all that. So something quick, you can just quickly come and say something like, uh, um, please, in Oweri, Imo states have arrested an armed robber who shot a hawker. Okay, now, this is simple for your intro. The next thing you have to do is you keep graduating in the story. You have said what happened in summary. So you look at um, other things. You say, the armed robber who has been identified as Mr. John Peter from A4 LGA Emo States attacked a trader in Orie Markets. and made away with let's say 10 million naira worth of goods <laughs> this is so easy this way okay you have said what really happened on your intro now you are talking about who the arm robber is you are talking about what the arm robber 
also did. The next thing you should talk about is you can probably say, um, okay, um, I'll wipe this again. You can probably say the crime which took place on this, this, this saw the arm robber release random shots which hit a hawker. A statement by the police said the hawker is in the hospital and has been responding to treatment and police said that they chased the arm robber and caught the arm robber along the way. Now one of the things you pay attention to is every single thing you have mentioned here will answer questions posed by all this. So when you talk about number one, arm robber, who is he? Peter John? What did he do? Robbed a trader and you keep going. Where? In Oweri. So at Oriya Market, when? You stated it there. Why? Probably if the arm robber was interviewed, normally you will get it was my first time. So how? Uh, you could say maybe he came to the shop posing as a customer before showing the owner of the shop he's gone. You just say something. And when you say the police, what did the police do? They arrested this guy. Where? What did the police say? All those things. Because most times the traders will have their own say. So you mentioned the traders. Who is the trader? You get a name and all that. By the time you write something that answers all these questions for all your subjects you have written a fantastic report and you talk about quotes probably what the police say you could add something and probably end with the police report said or if you actually spoke with the police officer you can now quote the police officer's name and say the police officer said but if it's a press release like they normally do in this part of the world one of the things you do is you say the police report said so this is quite important when you're writing a report because most of the times you see people writing reports on their blog it looks like um, they're writing something for their facebook followers something that is not well written and you read something you ask a lot of questions whatever report you're writing should answer a lot of questions if they are not answering all the questions then your report is not comprehensive and mind you when you're writing a report understand that everybody is not a professor so you keep it simple use simple words anyone can understand and also if possible avoid making it very long the shorter your sentence the better you make it short and make sure it reflects everything and it will surely be a fantastic one so Get back to me if you feel you need more help on this and I will surely, you know, help you write fantastic reports. Thank you so much.